hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel okay so we'll quickly look at uh, the solution to this problem we are asked to put it in such a way that they will every single time you have here will have a positive index okay so and we have about three different terms a b and c okay so what do we do we try to simplify bring everything together so first of all you recall all the rules of uh, indices so one of it is um, the the fractional index root uh, rule sorry where we are told that if i have a raised to the power of uh, say n over m that this is the same thing as the denominator becomes a root so i'll have m root of a and then the numerator will remain as a power so the implication of that is that if i have a uh, say 4 raised to the power of uh, maybe 3 over 2 so this is the same thing as you know that 2 is the same thing as square root so you don't put the 2 here again okay so we have the square root of 4 or raised to the power of 3 okay so if you simplify this is the same thing as this right and that's what we are going to be applying here okay so let's begin that now so for this the the meaning is that if i have a root i can actually change it to a fractional index so this the numerator is the same as a b c raised to the power of negative four you know all raised to the power of a uh, now the whole thing now is to the power of one here okay so that means it's going to be one all over three of course cube root is also written as power one over three okay so this is over the denominator will become okay now let's try to simplify the numerator to the end so this is going to give us if I open that bracket, you remember that rule that says that if I have a times b all raised to the power of x, that this is the same thing as a to the power of x uh, multiplied by b to the power of x. So the power will go on all the numbers that are multiplying. Okay, so what that means is that what we have here is the same thing as a to the power of uh, 1 over 3 multiplied by b to the power of 1 over 3 then multiplied by c to the power the power here is already minus 4 so there's also another rule that tells us that if i have a to the power of x all raised to the power of uh, c uh, y this is the same thing as a to the power of x times y okay so when this minus 4 multiplies 1 over 3 we are going to have the power as a uh, minus 4 over 3 okay so that's our numerator now so now we'll try to simplify the denominator so the denominator is going to become now here we will have a to the power of 3 by a to the power of negative 3 then by c all raised to the power of so this will be raised to the power of uh, 1 over 4 because of the root 4. Okay, and this is going to be equal to, following this, we are going to have a to the power of 3 times 1 over 4, which will be 3 over 4. Then multiplied by b to the power of negative 3, multiplying 1 over 4 will be negative 3 over 4. And finally, we will have c. Uh, you see here is power 1 so that will still be raised to the power of 1 over 4 so this is our numerator uh, sorry denominator and this is our numerator so we are now going to divide recall that by the time we divide these two now so a is now divided by a below so term, like terms will divide themselves so this is going to give us now recall that uh, there's also a rule that tells us that a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m you know can actually change to subtraction so this is a to the power of n minus m so if we go by that if i bring it here i'm going to have a to the power of 3 over 4 that's sorry 
the one up is one over three so one over three minus the one down which is three over four then multiplied by b now the b up is uh, one over three minus the b down is another minus three over four okay and then finally we will have c the c up is uh, minus three over four yeah why the c down is plus one over four so you are subtracting one over four okay so now i'm going to take time to resolve the fractions and then bring them on top of the terms that we have so let's quickly do that here for a we have um, one over three minus three over four so this is going to give us lcm is 12 if you divide 3, 12 by 3, you get 4 times 1 is 4, minus 12, 4 into 12 is 3 times uh, 3 is 9. And so this will give us negative 5 over 9, and that's the power of our A. So we have A raised to the power of negative 5 over 9. And so what about the power of our B? So let's keep our B here. Now bring down the powers here. You have 1 over 3. And then minus, minus will be plus. So you have plus uh, 3 over 4. LCM is also 12. This will give us 4 plus, 4 plus uh, 9. And that is uh, 13 over 12. Okay, so here we are going to have that the new power is now 13 over 12. And uh, lastly, for C, let's do that up here. So if I bring out the whole powers here, which is uh, 1 over, sorry, negative 1 over 3, then minus 1 over 4. The LCM is also 12. So when you divide, you will get 4 here, which will be minus 4, then minus 3. So this is negative 7 over 12. So the new power here is uh, negative 7 all over 12. Okay, so recall that we are asked to ensure that everything has a positive root, uh, sorry, index. And how do I get that? All I would need to do to get positive index, the only one that uh, has positive index is our B. So to get a negative in, a positive index for A and C, we are going to make use of the rule that tells us that if A is raised to the power of N, that it is the same thing as 1 all over a to the positive power. So I'm going to do that here. So this is the same as 1 all over a to the power of 5 over 9. Now this is times my b is up here, 13 over 12. Remember, it will now be over 1. Let me put it over 1. And finally, you will have multiplied by c will also be 1 over c to the power of 7 over 12 okay so everything now has positive index so what do i do i will now multiply out so to multiply out now one all the numerators will multiply so we'll have b to the power of 13 over 12 all over now the denominators will now multiply which is a to the power of 5 over 9 then multiplying c sorry this is not over 9 this is 12 actually let me correct this so this is over 12 here and i've been carrying it okay so this is over 12 so this is going to be 7 all over 12 okay so you can actually leave this like this because all the powers are already positive or you can decide to bring out the common powers so here you can see there is a over 12 over 12 over 12 so this is the same thing as 13 sorry b raised to the power of 13 all over a raised to the power of 5 times c raised to the power of 7 so everything now is raised to the power of 1 over 12 why because if i open up this bracket again and 1 over 12 multiplies every single term here I will get back this so i think this is also another good place to stop and you can also decide to take it back to the square root or sorry to the root and it's going to now become the 12th root of uh, either of these three 
is actually what we are asked to do. All the terms now have positive, you know, index. All right, and that is a solution to this problem. All right, this was in response to a question by one of our students on the channel. Now, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and do give a thumbs up to this video. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.